Hello YouTubers, this is a Yamaha natural sound stereo amplifier. The exact model is CA810. It's um, in very good working condition apart from one thing. The bulbs in the needles aren't working. So I'm going to do a quick video showing how to replace those. I've already removed the bulbs. Um, to take them out of the amplifier um, will be the opposite procedure to me um, fitting them, which I'll show shortly. The bulbs themselves are fairly common. It's these um, these type of incandescent bulbs. There's four of them. Uh, they're four millimeter, 14 volt, 80 milliamp lamps with bare leads. You'll need those. Um, to thread through the rubber fittings. The rubber fittings have a central hole where the bulb goes into and underneath there's four holes. The leads come through the two central holes and thread through to the two outer holes and this is it before the bulb is inserted. That's it with the bulb midway. You still need to take these leads and thread them to the outer holes. That's it with the bulb firmly in the central hole and with the leads taken from the central holes and put through to the outer holes. Now I need to trim those leads off and that's one completely finished. Leads trimmed off, all done. Um, it's fairly fiddly getting the leads through those central holes so I tend to do one at a time when they're both through and then fold them over and put them through the outer holes and then trim. All done. Four bulbs in their rubber mounts ready to be fitted to the amplifier. To replace the bulbs I have to put them onto those four pairs of prongs. I've already undone all this. Um, when I put it back together again you see how it was undone. Okay, first one to go on. Okay, that's the bulbs mounted onto the PCB. Um, this whole assembly has to go into the metal cage, but before I do that, the rivets, plastic rivets that I removed before, um, the two of them, they come apart. There's a male and a female. The female part has to go into the metal cage there, and then the male part goes through the PCB into the female part and clamps the whole thing together. Okay, we're not far from being done. Um, the plastic rivets have been put in. I've got um, two screws here to fasten the metal cage into place. We'll do that next. And we're nearly finished. The last thing to do is to put this piece of foam back here. Um, to take it off, I used a craft knife like this and to put it back on I'm going to use some contact glue or something fairly light. This will do for me. And that's the foam back in place. All finished. And does it work? Yeah, it does. Of course I tested it um, much earlier on. I didn't wait to get that far so I knew it would work. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, those lamps are wired in series, so um, one out, all out, and if you're going to open it up to replace 
just the 140 bulb. You might as well replace them all. I mean, it is a bit of a faff to get to them. So it seems a bit of a false economy to go through all that effort to replace one. Might as well start with a fresh lot. Anyway, that's one fixed Yamaha amplifier. Until next time, bye for now. It's working <coughs> natural sound stereo amplifier CA810. Why is that blurred? Um, uh, no. No, 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 no.